Welcome back. Now we're gonna take a look of Arthur's in the works for a. He wrote the Pathfinder and the Last of the Mohicans. Who was James Fenimore Cooper? Hey, you got yeah, it. Yeah, Cooper. Player two, what'll it be? The Civil War for four hundred. Oh boy. On February third, eighteen sixty-five, Confederate Vice President Stevens met this U.S. President at Hampton Roads, Virginia. Was Who was Abraham Lincoln? Exactly. No. The Civil War for 800. That's why the Gettysburg Address. This Confederate General's horse, Traveler, was originally named Jeff Davis. Not again. Who was Jefferson Davis? Oh, this Confederate General's horse? No, sorry. Okay, it's not Jefferson Davis. Would have been not Washington. What we were looking for was this. Robert E. Lee. Better known as for four hundred. Marion Morrison. Marion Morrison. Who is Marilyn Monroe? No, sorry. Uh, Who is John Wayne? Yes. Oh, John Wayne the Duke. Give me better known as for eight hundred. Raquel Tejada. Raquel Welch. Who is Raquel Welch? That's right. Oh. Uh, Better known as for 1,200. Oh, that. Archibald Leach. Who is Robin Leach? Oh, I'm Robin Leach, and this is the lifestyle of the rich and famous. Cary Grant. Better known as for 1,600. Charles Buczynski. Who is Charles Bronson? Yes. Oh, yeah. Player three, you choose. Buczynski, Bronson. Or 400. Concerns over the environment led to the first national observance of this day on April 22nd. What is Earth Day? Yes. Over to you, player one. 1974A. After dropping out of a California prison, he tuned into Algeria, where he was granted asylum. I don't really think I could t think of it. Nobody? This is the correct question. Oh, Timothy Leary. Player one, you're still in control of the board. Fan has been known as for two. Margarita Cancino. Who is Rita Hayworth? Correct. Rita Hayworth, Giga Face. Player two, what'll it be? Yeah. Military units for 400. Oliver Stone won an Oscar for his story about one of these title units in which he served in Vietnam. What we were looking for was this. A platoon. Oh, a platoon, I forgot. Player two, you're still up. Authors and their works for 1,200. 
Canada. Much of this Vanity Fair author's novel, Henry Esmond, takes place during the reign of Queen Anne. Who was William Makepeace Thackeray? Yes, indeed. William Thackeray. Player three, it's your turn. You know what? Get me on this. Countries of the world for nope. 400? Hundreds of islands make up about 20% of this European nation whose capital is Athens. Where's Greece? Hello, Athens. It's a day giveaway. Exactly. Country of the world. Will it be now? Eight. This Middle East country borders Saudi Arabia and, uh-oh, Iraq. What is Iran? No, sorry. Fuck me. What is Kuwait? Right here. Uh-oh. Player three, you choose. Countries of the world for 1,200? The Pope lives in this city that's an independent nation. What? Yeah, I know. What's a Vatican City? Exactly. Country to the world 16. This South American country is named after a Genoese explorer who came to America in 1492. Chile, Colombia. This North African country with the capital city of Tunis was the site of ancient Carthage. Tunis? Tunis? What is Tunisia? Correct. Authors in the work of sixteen hundred. This female Pulitzer Prize winner wrote The Bell Jar. The Bell Jar. Hmm. Emily Dickinson, if I can remember her name. No, it was Sylvia Plath. Precisely. Take again. Finish it up. This Florentine author of The Prince also wrote a history of Florence. What's a prince? Hmm. Who is Nico Nicolo Me Michavelli? Right. Pick again. Well, how about that? Catching up, kids. Uh, 1972. He donated some 800 of his works to a Barcelona museum. Don Quixote. <coughs> How is a guess? Nobody? This is the correct question. Pablo Picasso. Sixteen. This Osaka event lasted March 15th to September 13th and had as many as 835,000 visitors in one day. Osaka. Oh, that's Japan. Anybody? This is what we wanted. Expo 70. Finish that, please. Walter Ruther, president of this union since 1946, died in a plane crash in May. President of this union? I was going to say the Pacific Union, but that's... 
Wrong. This is the correct question. It's the United Auto Workers Union. Well, now we know where the Daily Devils are. Civil War 12. Two days after the war began, Union troops surrendered the South Carolina fort to the Confederates. What is Fort Sumter? Correct. Yep. Player three, your turn. The Civil War for 1,600. One objective of the Red River campaign was the invasion of this Lone Star State. Bobby is going to kill me if I don't know that. What is Texas? Right. Player one, you choose. And it's, and it is the daily double. Oh god. Player one, please make your wager. Eleven thousand four hundred. We are back in the lead. But I'm gonna wager four hundred. Okay, here's the clue. In late 1864, this Union general vowed to make Georgia howl, and he did. I was gonna say it was George Patton, who was general. William Texman Sherman. Military units. Fight. From the medieval Latin for army, it's a large fleet, like the one Admiral Howard faced in 1588. For the medieval Latin? What is an armada? Right. Oh, the armada. Do. Your turn. Military units for 1,200. Daily double. Nope. Three brigades under one headquarters or a map function. Some. No. What is it? division? That's it exactly. The divide You're division. You're still control of the board, player two. We got Tim with us. Military units for 1,600. Daily double. A group of cavalry, whether A, B, or F. What's a trip? Good. And now we got the last one. And finishing off this round. And it is the Daily Double. The Daily Double. <laughs> wow, well, we hogged the Daily Double. Player one, please make your wager now. Oh boy, let's go 600 on this. Here's the clue. Mod or not, it's usually 10 infantrymen headed by a staff sergeant. Oh god. A mod or not, it is usually. Countryman headed by a staff sergeant. I'm gonna say, what is a, a commander? But that's gonna be wrong. No, and I am sorry. What is it? This is the correct question. A squad! Duh. That's okay, we got the lead back. That's the end of the double jeopardy round. Let's check out the scores, shall we? Yeah, it's for the PS2. Right 12,000 to player 2, 10,008 to player 3, 8,600 to final jeopardy. Tell the tale. What tell the tale? Time, folks. Final Jeopardy. I show you the category, then I give you a few seconds to think about your wager. If it's television, I'm wagering on. Brothers! Brothers. Go ahead, make your wager. Brothers for Final Jeopardy. 
Touchdown. Alright. Brothers. Alright. Well. Uh, well, well, we. Crap. Really crap? Yes, we're gonna crap right now. <laughs> okay. What is for Final Jeopardy, Eugene? Do you know? Six grand. Half. Here's the clue. Good luck. An empire began when Tom and Louis Borders opened this type of store in Ann Arbor, Michigan in 1971. Type of store? Borders. Oh. The only thing I can know of Borders is a bookstore. The last name has to make sense. You got the right question. Your question, player three, was... That's it. And you wagered how much? That's the one, baby. 15-4. Your question, player two, was... Coffee store? Uh-oh, no. So how much is that going to cost? Uh-oh. Player one, your question was... In a word, yes. And the way yes! Another win, at least. Look at those scores. All of our players should be committed. Congratulations to our winner, player one. Oh, my God. Superberry test passed the 69 mark. Three. Three hundred seventy thousand four hundred dollars. Yay! And that is our 18th game one. See you next time for another exciting game of Jeopardy. Alright, that's it. That is right now. We're at $370,400. As always, I would like to thank these guys on Discord for being part of it and helping out. You're welcome, and We, of course, like to thank you for watching, and we will see you all in our next video soon. Take care.